Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa, and today I'm going to show you my must-haves in my toolbox. Um, the one thing I'm not showing you is the trimmer. I need a trimmer, so it is not fitting in here. That is why I'm not showing it. Anyway, but these are the things that I have to have at my fingertips, typically, when I'm creating. Um, sometimes I need a lot more things, sometimes I need um, a little bit less, but these are the go-tos that I have, typically, in my toolbox that I need to do to create. Um, to start with, I always have one of our Creative Journey with Melissa stamp sets. Um, typically, I use or try to use our sign language stamp sets. It is near and dear to my heart. Sign language is something that I've known since I basically was born. Um, my brother's deaf. Both of my grandparents were deaf. Um, sign language is very near and dear to my heart, and I really, really, really think it's a beautiful language. So I wanted to share my love for it with everything that I create, or most things that I create and hopefully you will enjoy it as well. Um, if you want to check out our stamp sets at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com or www.acjwm.com, you can check them out there. We are going to be having new stamp sets this year. I'm very excited, and I will let you know when that is happening. So with that, that is the fantastic stamp sets right here. These are the fantastic stamp sets right here, and hopefully you can find a use for them. Um, you can use them in your journals, you can use them planners, you can use them scrap, you can use them for anything. Um, I just really love them and I think they're fantastic and I know that a lot of people really enjoy our stamp sets and hopefully you will too. So that is our sign language um, alphabet and our sign language alphabet number stamp set. Okay, so we have that. We also always have to have some twine because I love twine, whether it's this type of twine or say a colored twine. I always have twine on hand so that I can just add a little bit of something to my creation. I really like to make sure that I can do that. Um, it just adds a little bit of a decoration and just a little bit of color, pop of color. So that's why I like to have it. Um, we also have here our, I'll show you right here, our Stampin' Mist right here. This is, stamp, is a Stampin' Up! product. Um, a friend of mine, Brandy, who used to be on our creative crew, is now ventured off and sells Stampin' Up! They have amazing dyes and really some great products that I use myself, even with my own stamp line. One of which is a Stampin' Mist. I always use it on my stamps. It's fantastic for clear stamps and rubber stamps as well. Um, so we have Stampin' Mist, and I also have the Stamping Scrub. This is a little... Um, a uh, little scrub uh, mat, if you will, that you can, I actually have mine marked. You can't really read it anymore because it faded. This has dry arrow that way and um, wet arrow that way. So I have one side that I use for the dry and one side I use for the wet. So basically I will, you know, spray right here and I will clean off the ink that I have on my stamp and then I will dry it off over here. So I usually keep one side wet, one side dry. You can take these out and you can clean them off. I usually take them in my tub and clean them out. And they slide out or you can pop them out, whichever. So that works really well. And so I've had this one for a number of years and it really has held up quite well. So I love this product and I use this product with it. So it's very helpful and I love it with that. So um, I am always using Memento ink. It is my favorite, hands down. It uses, um, it uses there it is. Um, I use it for numerous uses. That was the combined version of that sentence it was supposed to be. <laughs> At any rate, um, Memento ink is one of my favorite inks. One of the reasons why, well, there's a number of reasons, but one of the reasons why is because it works fantastic with alcohol inks. I use alcohol inks very often, um, whether I'm using my chameleon pens, I'm using my um, Copic markers, or whatever other alcohol markers I may be using, this works fantastic, and I love it, and I really, really, really use it for basically everything I stamp with. So any images that you've seen me stamp with, I have used Memento ink, unless I am showing you a different ink pad. Other than that, it's Memento. So that is that. I love, 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 love my little stapler. It is an awesome way to add a little bit of uh, decoration. It's a great way to attach ribbon or um, a little piece of paper to something else. You can make a little flap. You can, there's so many things that you can do and I just love the little staple that it makes. This is a Tim Holtz uh, mini stapler and I will show you how tiny, here let me see if I can, I'm trying to see what I can use for an example. <laughs> how about if we use, here, I'll show you how tiny the staple is on the ink pad and 
It's a standard ink pad, so you can see how tiny that little guy is. Isn't it cute? I just love the way it looks, and I just think it's fantastic. And it's just a great way to attach some type of decoration, or if you want to make like a little envelope or whatever, it's just really great and very helpful. So I love my little stapler. We also have the ATG, which is the Scotch um, glue gun. It is refillable. As you can see, there is a whole bunch of adhesive you can use here. I realize it's big and bulky, but it does the job and I love it. It is my go-to no matter what. If I'm going to a crop or if I'm going to a class or whatever, yes, I do haul this with me, even though it's big. Sometimes you'll see me use these and I do on occasion, but most of the time I'm using these, okay? So these are the go-to tools that I have to have for absolutely sure. I have right here a jelly roll. It's a Sakura jelly roll and it's called Clear Star. I'll show you that right here so you can see it. I love the way it colors. I love what it looks like. I'm going to show you what it looks like on this little piece of paper that I had punched out. I'm just going to write my name. I just love the glitter and it's so even and nice. It's just so pretty. And you can use this on any image and you can really make it, you can dress it up and make it look pretty. I just love it. I think it's really cool. And look at the sparkle on that, right? Isn't that cool? Just love it. So that is a jelly roll by Sakura and it's called Clear Star. The number on it is XPG B as in boy number 700. I'm not sure if that's the same always. So I'm just going to give you a little look at look see for yourself so you can see that right there okay so I just love it I think that's fantastic so then we have our quicker poker picker upper now this I use all the time I really do I use this specifically for rhinestones and um, little pieces of paper I need to pick up and I'll show you what I mean by that this right here it has a little poker, so you could use that for all of your um, die cuts that might have some intricate work that you need to pop out. Or you can use it this side, which I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, here we go. Um, you can see this side here. It allows you to pick up rhinestones. You can go bloop, and yes, you have to make the noise, bloop. Um, you can just slide right under it and pick them up. So that's the one side. The other side, which is one of my favorites, is this. Now, it's got this like kind of clay I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, it's some kind of material that you can pick stuff up with. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So if you have some little pieces of paper or something and you're trying to paper piece, it's very helpful you can do that. That's why I think this is such a fantastic little deal. Okay, And if you want to, you can use it again. See? Use it, oops, use it over and over again. All different kinds of stuff. So it's very helpful. Did you hear that? It's stuck. So it's kind of cool. Now you can take off some of this and rub it off and then start anew. Cause you may be like, say you're using some um, paper or something like that and it might have a lot of glitter. So you may not want to use the same stuff again in case you're gonna get glitter on something else you made. So it has like a little twist. So you can twist it. I'm gonna show you really close up. So you twist it and then a little bit more comes out. You see that? See how a little bit more is coming out like that? So then you can just push it down there and then you've got a little bit more. And this eventually will run out. I have had this, I swear I've had this for at least, oh my goodness, I wanna say at least five years, probably six or eight, but at least five. So I've had this this long and I have barely even come to scratch the surface of how much the potential is for this beauty. So I just love it and it's called the Quicker Picker Poker Upper. So I hope you um, like it and if you do, make sure you pick one up. I love it, it's by Quick Cuts. Last but not least, and not least for sure, we have, of course, this awesome Spellbinders. It's called a two-in-one. Um, I have a more um, detailed description of this on other YouTube channels or other YouTube uh, posts on my channel. See, I try to combine sentences to make this faster for you guys. I don't think I'm doing a very good job, but anyway. So you can use this also as a poker, like that, and you can pull it back and make it different um, sizes. This is a little brush, which works great to get out all those little pieces for the intricate designs. I really love all of these tools. They are my favorite. 
That is why I wanted to show you. And I really hope that you will share with me what you like because I am always looking for a good tool, something cool to use, something that might help me, something that might help people that watch my videos, something that's you know useful. Whatever you think that I might have a use for, please, please, please be sure to comment and let me know exactly what you think I might want to use because if that's the case, we should be sharing. We love to share, don't we? As crafters, we you know there's never there's never enough time or projects or tools that we can have to uh, ever make sure that we can spend some more money. Shh. But anyway, um, we like to actually have the coolest tools. And if there's something out there that I'm missing, please let me know. I would love to check it out and try it out. I trust the people that check me out. I trust your opinion and I trust your comments. And I really appreciate you taking the time to share with us today and to um, you know, take time out of your day to actually watch this video. And um, all of your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. So I hope you have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you enjoyed going on a creative journey with Melissa. Have a great one. Bye-bye.